Hey guys, what's up? My name is Viso, and today we're going to be doing a new video for you guys. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and yeah, let's get on to this video. So, this video is going to be about the best video settings to record with Fraps. So, yeah, let's get on into it. So for the Generals tab up in Fraps, you don't really need anything in here, um, except maybe Fraps window always on top. You can just maybe click this or not. I don't really know what that does, but it doesn't really do anything to my computer, so it is fine. So moving on to the FPS tab, um, you don't really need anything over in the Benchmarkings tab, but over here, this is a little important. You may not need this, it's just up to preference. So your overlay hotkey, this shows, uh, this is like the key that you can toggle on your uh, FPS counter. So if you want to see your FPS, you can just click this button. You can just choose one, so I can just choose T or Control T and that'll, that'll work. So I don't use that, so I'm just gonna click it Disable. So on your overlay corner, this shows where your FPS is going to be shown. Um, you can just click this, it shows each corner of your computer screen and you can mess around with this if you want to. So that's all you need for here. Moving on to the movies tab. Um, this is a little bit more important and this is what's basically going to be recording your screen. So where you want to save your videos, you can choose a new folder. So let's say I want to change it to videos. You can just do that or video, you can just do that and then click change and you can click on desktop and then just find videos. So right there, click that, and now it's linked to your videos. Now, for your sound cap, or for your actual, your video capture hotkey, this is uh, just the hotkey to start and stop your recording. And mine is just insert, but you can change it to anything. So it could be home, or just insert. I just want it as insert, so I just click it. I don't want control up. So I just click it as insert, and yeah, there you go. You can just double click insert and double click the button that you want and it'll go to that so video capture settings I usually put it to 60 FPS um, you can put it to one you can choose actually any FPS you want to so if you have a good computer you can just put up to any um, frame rate you want but I just choose it 60 and you want it at full size you could put it at half size but I just preferably like to put it at full size because it looks better and my computer can handle it so moving on to the sound capture settings um, all you really need is uh, a microphone if you want to hear your voice. So if you want to hear your, if you have a microphone and you want to hear your voice, then click this. But if you don't, just turn that off. And if you want to see your, if you want to hear your sound in the background, then click this. But if click this on, and if you don't, then just turn it off. So over here. Okay, so over here, hide mouse cursor in video. This is basically just saying if you don't want to see your mouse in this video, so see right here, my mouse, my cursor. If you don't want to see that, you just click that on and it'll go away in your recording. Uh, lock frame rate while recording. I don't put that on, so my uh, frame rate can fluctuate if it goes higher. Um, force losses, RGB capture. I do not know what this is, and I don't have it on, and I record fine, so I'll leave that at that. Now screenshots, if you want to take a screenshot of your like uh, computer desktop or a game you're playing, you can basically just do the same thing over here. Just click the file that you want the video to go to. So I'll just put desktop, make a new folder, and then just do uh, fraps, pics, whatever. Let's do that. And then find the folder and just click yes and it'll go to that. Now the hotkey, so if I want to actually take a photo of this, I could I'm just gonna leave it at F10, but if you want anything F, like different, you just click on any of the hotkeys you want. Uh, for the image format, you want JPEG or PNG. Just, J, just do JPEG because it's a smaller file size. And yeah, so I could actually click F10 right now, I think, and it'll take a picture. Yep, it'll take a picture of my screen, and do that if it'll load. Yeah, see, so it's just the picture of my screen so that's pretty cool yeah you can do that <laughs> um, screen capture settings um, you don't really need this 
Um, this is not really that important because I don't have a setting and it's fine. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more of these, please comment down below if I could if you could do any more tutorials. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.